P.O.P. hold it down. We at the waterfront, Louisville, Kentucky, me and a twin. Wife here too, she's just down the way. For this little short video of our road trip part two vlog. We gotta start treating our children like they young adults. Start training your children to become an adult. Don't raise them and expect them to become an adult. Because as we see, a lot of the times now, we were raised to ultimately become adults, but unfortunately, a lot of us were not trained to become adults. What you doing, your baby boot camp? <laughs> she loved doing baby boot camp. She put herself through obstacles. She put herself through strenuous tasks. Even when at the park, she don't really play around. She just go up and down shit. Seemingly to be training. Training for what? Maybe training for life. I always told people, like if you want your kids to um, act right, then send them to um, send them to me. I'll send them through boot camp. And not discipline and all that shit, but more outdoor activities, more strenuous activities. That's only, dang, look, you ain't that tall. See, slow down. Yeah, there you go. Take the time. <clears throat> Get down. See, that's why you're supposed to be getting up here, baddie. <clears throat> A lot of the times we don't really need discipline. Our children really don't need to be whooped. Our children really don't need to be disciplined. What our children need is a lot of strenuous activities. So when something goes wrong, they say, oh damn, I'm gonna go have to go out and walk this long ass trail that mama, uh, mama or daddy make me walk every time I do some shit I'm supposed to do. But as far as my daughter, it don't seem like that's gonna be really of a punishment. So the only punishment that she gonna really feel is when she is not able to go outside and do certain natural activities as far as just walking around and exercising and doing what you do on oh, me she got some glutes <laughs> and this is what being an adult is all about is enjoying the time that you have with the creation that you didn't create it often we don't we don't bathe in our own minor success. You said often we don't bathe in our minor success. We too stressed out about making it to the next part of our journey when in reality we right in the middle of where we wanted to be. And I just seen this in a post. I said, hold on, that makes so much sense. Because it seems like the more that we acquire that we want it, the more shit that comes into play that we need or more shit that we do want. It's the best time in life right now to just... Can you better watch out? You gotta... <laughs> Dang, girl. See, I let my daughter just run off up until she realized that, hold on, where my daddy at? Then she had turned around and said, hold on, damn. Where you going? Where you going to? She said, damn, I guess I gotta come back. <laughs> hey, y'all see right there? Do you see that RV? Oh, do y'all see it? Where the fuck is that RV at? It's right there in the middle. I just can't see it on here for some reason. Anyway, anywho, that's what we're working our way towards. Dang, you gonna take up all the flags just like we used to do as kids? You bad. Hey, you, you really ain't from the inner cities if you ain't seen these things around the neighborhood and we used to just take them up out the ground and just 
fuck around with them for whatever reason. I have no clue why we used to take them out the ground, but we definitely used to take these little things out the ground. T said, yep, I got one. <laughs> All right, T, we go now. <laughs> some things, man, it's better to let your kids experience some of the same things that we 